I won't say that uh, the current impasse that we have witnessed in the Senate is actually a creation of that House, the Senate. Reason being that uh, they received the formula from the CRA in March of 2019. So they had a, a whole year for them to discuss about the, the, uh, the formula and agree on the formula, agree on the parameters and make it possible for county governments to access funds. It's unfortunate, it's regrettable that even after one and a half years, the Senate of, the uh, the Senate of Kenya has not uh, seen it fit for them to rise to the occasion and make sure that they pass that um, formula. They also uh, uh, pass the county allocation of revenue act, which of course will now give the county governments money. And it is very, very unfortunate because what we are witnessing in the Senate is not about national interest. It is about personal interest. And I want to say this because as a chairman of budget, I am privy to some of the dealings that are happening in the Senate. One is a question of 2022. It has, this uh, formula has nothing, the OMPAS has nothing to do with the issues raised. It's about 2022. And the second one, money has been changing hands. And we want to challenge the senators. We know them. We know the senators who have been shifting from one side to another. Senators who clearly have said that they are standing with the people, but after at the end of the day, they go against the same same spirit. Basically because they have been influenced by resources that are coming from governors. And we, we have to say it because this is it's, it's a truth. It's a naked truth. There are some governors who are perceived to be losing resources. They have already pulled some resources together to try and influence the senators so that they vote against that formula. And it is clear, you know, we now want to call upon residents of each and every county to give warning to their senators that it is a time for them to stand with their counties. A senator is elected to discuss or prosecute issues that affect their counties. The other, the other national issues are dealt with by the National Assembly, and that is the reason we are called the National Assembly. So if you go there to the Senate, you are going there to address issues. For example, if the Senator for Nyeri, he has to go and address issues to do with Nyeri. The Senator for Kakamega cannot go to Senate to address issues about Nyeri. You talk about issues about Kakamega. The Kakamega, I mean the governor for Nairobi, my good friend Sakaja, you are supposed to articulate issues to do with Nairobi. But you have seen, they have gone round, they have even set up a 12-member committee, knowing very, very clearly that they are not going to agree on anything. They spent the public resources, and at the end of the day, they are now calling on the president to come and solve a simple equation. The president has <coughs> absolutely no role in this. The issue lies with the Senate. Yesterday, I saw my very good friend Kangata saying that now the National Treasury can release 50% of the funds to the county government. Zero. It can't happen because it is very clear in Article 206, sub Article 2, that monies are released from the exchequer through an act of parliament. It has to be released through a law. There is a mechanism. There has, it has to be anchored in law. The others who are saying that there is an opinion from the High Court, you know, saying that uh, counties should receive 50%. Monies are not released on opinions, you know, or advisory. It is about law. And I want to say this because we, we, we have kept quiet as a National Assembly. And for me as a chairman of budget, it pains me because the national government has already received the allocation that they are supposed to get. Basically because we passed the Division of Revenue Bill, which was later became an act. So that is the reason the national government has resources. But now the county governments cannot receive resources because Senate 
has failed to enact the, the CARA or the County Allocation of Revenue Act, which is a very simple thing for them to do. But because for us we had foreseen a situation like this, whereby there will be an impasse in terms of division of revenue, we, uh, we, 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 we recommended some amendment to the PFM Act, which clearly stated that in a, in a situation whereby the division of revenue bill is not agreed upon, maybe because the Senate and the National Assembly are not reading from the same script, we had said that the national uh, government can access 50%. So the national government is covered. But the bill already is passed the National Assembly. It was taken to the Senate in 2019. It has been lying in the Senate since 2019. Because if the Senate was able to also enact that law, also ensure that CARA is also covered in that, we will not be in this kind of a situation. Yesterday, I saw a very desperate situation whereby governors are saying that salaries for June, July, and now August has not been paid. And it's basically because the Senate has failed in its duty. We have said that uh, as a National Assembly, we are going to offer the support that we can, but we can only sub offer support to a person or an, an entity or an institution that is willing to be helped. So in the National Assembly, we are ready to assist the Senate uh, unlock this on pass. And first is to make sure that at least the counties get the minimum funds that they can be able to access as the Senate, you know, glappers with the issue of uh, the formula. So we are hoping that on Tuesday, they are going to look or look at the bill that was, for, uh, was forwarded to them that is uh, amending the PFM Act, if they are able to dispense with that bill by the end of the week, the bill, of course, will come to us. And of course, I want to assure them, as a chairman of budget, once that is brought to us, we will not even spend two days with it. We will dispense with it and make sure that it is accepted or assented by the president so that it becomes law. And if it becomes law in the next two weeks, then the counties will now have the liberty uh, to access funds from the consolidated fund. But as we stand now, and the Senate should uh, start guided, the leadership of the Senate should also start guided, that funds are not released based on opinions, based on feelings, based on circumstances. Funds are released from the exchequer based on an appropriation bill or based on, an, on a law or an act of parliament. So it's unfortunate. We are in this situation. We want to assure the, counts, uh, the, the, the Council of Governors that we in the National Assembly, we are doing our best to make sure that at least you remain afloat. We'll make sure that we will pass that bill as soon as possible, but also kindly awaken the senators and tell them that they are failing and they want to uh, ground the operations of counties, which of course we as a National Assembly, we are not going to allow. So we will do our part and make sure that at least that act, the PFM Act, which is now lying for a whole one year in the Senate, is enacted and make sure that it is accepted by the President so that the control of budget will have now reason to withdraw funds from the Exchequer. There were either other people saying that the Attorney General had said that they, he had given an advisory that they can get 50%. I have said, and I'm saying this as a chairman of budget, that we don't withdraw money from the consolidated funds based on advisories, based on opinions. We, are, we, we only allow withdrawal of funds from consolidated funds using an appropriations bill or a corresponding act of parliament. Because Kenya is a country that is governed by the rule of law, but not on opinions and feelings, you know, and views of individuals. And I want to say this, because it has happened in the past, whereby this, uh, the High Court gives an opinion and uh, advisories. We want to say this very, very clearly, that the, the, the judiciary only interprets, the judiciary interprets the law. And if, if there is a lacuna in law, it is the responsibility of the National Assembly and the Senate to make sure that the law is as clear as possible so that we can avoid these issues of uh, ambiguity and we give uh, an opportunity for the courts to give opinions. Courts should only interpret the law the way it is, not trying to give opinions. Because the moment you try to give op opinion 
on a law, then in you yourself, you are making a law, which is, of course, is not your mandate. So I want to assure the county governments that if everything remains constant, even if the Senate does not pass the formula, even in the next one week or in the next two months or three months, but they work on uh, uh, this PFM Act, then in that position, we will be able as a National Assembly to make sure that we allow the control of budget to uh, advise Treasury to release uh, resources to the counties based on a particular schedule that will be agreed upon.